we gonna go down here to this other corner. Just hold on here. Cause these guys hadn't, they don't really understand that. But before we go, I'm gonna say something to them because they don't really get it. You know, it's really stupid at the end of the day. It's stupid. Get the script, you pull the script up. And a pestilence. And a what? And a pestilence. pestilence. That's disease. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to say, it's, it's confusion when we all try to teach in the same place. We, we kind of talked about it before, right? What was the conversation? The conversation was about the spots and whatever. Now we, 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 you know, we try to be diplomatic about it. And we was, you know, moving around a little bit. But now if you see us teaching here, it's kind of difficult for us to teach and y'all in the background too. And our kind of sound kind of clashes. You know, shalom y'all bros out this week. So what we gonna do, we gonna move to the other corner because it's confusing, you know what I mean? But I mean, I think it was, you know, y'all brothers, you know, y'all, y'all in the truth. Yeah, you know, we should know we should do better as Israelites. If you see another group teaching, go somewhere further, far enough away so our sound is not clapping. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to go ahead and move. We was here first, but we'll go ahead and move. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want the confusion. All right, but I just want to remind y'all, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. It says, for the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. So this is what we should all work on. You know, whether we agree in doctrine or whatever, we would never come when y'all was already teaching that, if you was already set up teaching, and then preach over y'all while y'all teaching, you know, or, you know, or that our sound of class, you know what I'm saying? That's so, so excuse us for interrupting, you know what I mean? But we just, Just know. in our fairness, can we respond? Yes, of course, by all means. We're gonna draw down. Because now, is that confusion or not? When you got two groups and we both preaching high, you know, loudly, is that not confusion? I 100% agree with you. When you got two groups and we both Preaching high, you know, loudly. Is that not confusion? I want to send a 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 That's why we're we're moving now. Because you know it, it's it's confusion. That's why we're we're moving now. Because you know it, it's it's confusion. When all things be done decently and in order. And I right. think that's that was the important thing that we did from the beginning when we met you. When we met you, we were standing in that spot right there teaching. Yeah, and I came when you came. Before y'all started you, up. I just want to finish, ain't nothing. I'm just saying, before y'all started up, I talked to you and I told you in order that we had our been teaching. Is it here. okay if I finish? And we got proof. But hold on before you, you go. You didn't there. come over to my. You're you right. Know, you're right. So we, we came wait, over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we you don't got, got nothing to say. You don't got nothing to say, lady. You just one second, say. just one second. Go ahead. It was out of order from because the beginning. We, so we're going to show you. We're going to show you how it was You don't have to show us. We was already here in the beginning. So we, we, we men. We men. We can have this. What do you want? What do you want, lady? What do you want? You're you see us talking. No, no, no. Back, up. Back, up. Okay. Back up. We're all Read team Jesus. We, no, we're not. We're not team 11. Jesus. Don't create other 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 issues. The so why are you speaking while I'm speaking? So why are you here scoffing? We're not scoffing you. Man. What do you want to do? And do you want to have a conversation over the Bible? No, we don't need to do you want to have a conversation on the side? Know. Or what do you want to do? do? Why are you, you scoffing over here? Hold on. I'm no, 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 no. Ain't no hold don't on. I'm not him. No, no, don't challenge. I challenge you on no, all levels. I'm not him. You're not ready for that. I'm not here. You're not ready for that. You ain't ready Hey, give me your place. I'm not playing now. And in order. So when we was over there teaching, I'm glad you got your camera. You gonna run off with it? Go ahead. Now when we was over there teaching. Everybody they know up. they was out of order for building on our foundation to begin Look with. We did Look. lessons on it already, And this man. is the elders we got to yield to. You ain't got to yield to us. These niggas right here. See? Well, we niggas. These niggas right here. We niggas here. now. We Come niggas on, now. Man. Okay, Don't cool. you use that terminology? No, we, we going around the corner like we said. Don't we All right, Shalom. Shalom. All praise. I'm now here. Bashem, Mashak, Yahushah. Bashem, Kakadash. Shalom to the blood ones. Baptizing the covenant. And today I have Luke chapter 21, verse 18. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. How is that possible if I, if all these uh, fucking idiots on the internet is telling you, cut your damn head, shave your head, bald brother. You got to have a, a waves. You got to cut your hair down to a, a Julius Caesar. Paul said long hair is a shame. He's talking about according to the Romans. That's why you read down. He said we don't have no custom, man. Yahweh Shai said there shall not an hair of your head perish. How is that possible if you tell them brothers to cut their goddamn hair off? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors and sincere salute to you, brethren, you followers of the truth, of this truth, and uh, Shalom to the elect. So I'm going to go in this video.
Um, I want to go on this video here, going into the situation with Elder Manatazatba and this uh, these guys from Saints Saints of the Beloved, I believe. Now I looked at their channel. They have he said something about my GMS Cleveland days. Laugh out loud, nine years ago. So I remember. Um, this I believe one of these guys they was going under the reincarnation doctrine. I think it was the hair doctrine they had a problem with. And somebody said, Brother Most High deleted just about all my GMS videos when I taught GMS reincarnation doctrine. Well, he wasn't meant to teach it. Okay, but the Lord took it away from you. That's what that represents. Uh, but anyway, I want to go in just to first to touch on Luke 21 and 18. He says, The head of your head should not be touched. But then he kind of links that with the hair doctrine about cutting your hair. Now, how is that possible when you cut your hair? If you cut your hair, it perishes anyway. You know? So if you cut your hair and it cut, it perishes anyway. So this obviously not talking about exactly the hairs on your head as of right now. In fact, let me get the commentary. But before that, let me get a scripture real quick. Ecclesiastes 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Reprove goes to, to be uh, means to shame or to correct. Right? We'll get into that in a second. But I want to go back here to Luke 21 and 18. Um, the reason why I'm tying all this in together because these guys, if they were with GMS, Great Millstone, they were they're reprobates. And they were, you know, they just didn't have the oil. And this reminds me of Matthew 23, I believe it's 23 or 25, with the, the ten virgins and the oil, right? This terminology in Luke 21, 18 is a hair of your head perish. This is a proverbial expression denoting that they should not suffer any essential injury, right? This was strikingly fulfilled. Right, so this is what this is talking about. Right, it really had nothing to do with, um, you know, it's basically these guys are just trying to make an excuse. And Apostle Paul, what did he say? Apostle Paul said, "Does not nature teach if you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him?" So again, I'm not going to go that far into that, but I will go more into this video with these. Um, these brutish men, you could see the expression on his face upon being reproved or corrected, rebuked. And you, and you know what happened. You, you could look at his expressions. But at the end of the conversation, well, at the middle when he said, I 100% agree, should have been the end of the conversation. And I can't understand why when you post up and there's Brothers across the street posted in the biggest blocks. I mean, the, I mean, nobody owns the street. <laughs> Edom does. It's his, it's his society. So the only thing I could think of uh, that a guy would do that is going back to trying to get that oil again. And this is when you, as a brother, and I believe Elder Manat, as I said, he's going to get out of there, out of this, because you got to get away from that situation. Because these guys are trying to obtain your oil, right? They're trying to get, like, vibe off of your vibe. You know, try to use the spirit to get the, um, your spirit to get, to get some oil. <clears throat> and they just don't got it. That's why the, these guys were reprobates, because they were in the truth. They knew the truth. And there's really no reason to correct these guys, because they were in the truth. Right? They should know better. Okay, so that's what I pretty much wanted to touch on. At the end of the conversation, when when the, um, the Jake crossed the street, when he said, I 100% agree, then he pulls out the scripture that all of us know, 14, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Um, it's one of the milk, one of the first things we learned coming into the truth, that all things be done decently in order. And if they knew that, why, when they see guys cross the street, they decide to pop up cross the street? You know, this is why, you know, you would have to just leave and let them 
let you know get away from them trying to take your your oil which the elder did you know these uh these now where we teach there's so many cars and traffic coming by we wouldn't hear like sakari teaches across from us but they they at least went way further over you know they're like a whole block away so we and and uh, we saluted them when they kept when they come by you know they, they have a sakari here and uh we salute them we you know we We've already dialogued about doctrine, so I, I'm not going to try to convince them that um, Hebrews is a legitimate book or the letters of Paul is legitimate. They should know that. In fact, they was in Great Millstone. They were in the truth, so they should know that. So I don't, I'm not going to go back and forth with those guys. But now in this situation, you know, I think the elder just wanted to make it, you know, known and reprove these guys and correct them but now you can see that these guys can't be corrected and if i believe he knows well i didn't know but I, you know these guys were in great millstone if they leave and you could be a great millstone and leave and do your own thing and just still follow doctrine but if they leave and they're not following doctrine and they got long hair and they got lineups there's no reproving these guys. There's nothing you can do for them. Proverbs 16, 15, and 12. A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him. Neither will he go unto the wise, right? And he, there, there was wise men teaching him, teaching them the right doctrine. And this is what happens. These guys, what I feel through the spirit, they're losing, they've lost the oil, right? They have, they have lost the oil. Let me get to Sirach 18.27. A wise man feareth in everything, and in the day of sinning, he will beware of his offense. Right? He will beware of it, man. So really, the scripture says, live peaceably among all men. So really, at the end of the day, it was hard for these jakes, because they, they, I guess they was in Cleveland or whatever. It's really hard when you're standing there and you're holding the Bible and another brother is holding the Bible and somebody holding the Bible is telling you that you're doing something wrong when you feel you're doing something right. And that's the biggest judgment of character at that point where you should be. I've had to check myself on things like that. You know, you, you have to where you got a question. Could we be wrong? If you can't question that, then there's a problem because now you're not looking and saying this could be the spirit of the Lord speaking to me expressively. But now you're saying to yourself, I'm right. You're going beyond the Bible. You're going beyond the scriptures. You're going on a carnal mindset. You know, the weapons are warfare, not carnal. You're going you're going into a different direction. Sirach 32 and 17, I read again, a sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. So when the Jake was spinning and turning, you can see his sign language, his body movement, let me say that. You can see that he wasn't taking this in like this is serious and this is correct. He admitted that it was correct. He admitted that it was 100% the truth, but he was not going to let the the uh, elder, Elder Manata Zatba, he was not going to let him walk off without saying, let me throw mine in there. I'm going to show them. And I think this was a thing of GMS, you know, more so than anything, you know, and this was his way of pulling it all out the hat. And then I noticed when the camera was moving, it said hair braids. I don't know why. What a coincidence, right? There are on a sideline where they're teaching and it says hair braids and Jake have hair braids. Can't make this up. So the bottom line is through the spirit, you know, is all settled and done, but you have to get away from these guys, guys like this and which the elder did. But I think through the spirit, these guys saw them pushing and they said, we was in GMS. We got to come out. And everybody come out like in the winter. Or so, I mean, in a nice day. I don't know. I don't know if they come out all year, every day. But then I'm looking at his channel. It's like 
30 second clips of Debo and this, you know, it's nothing edifying for that. Like 30, 30 second, 30 second clips of, um, the situation or whatever. I don't know what that was all about. Let me see if I can look and see, you know, I mean, it's a 45 second clip, a minute clip. I don't know if they got another channel or got pictures of Elder Manatazat by 31 seconds, 31 seconds, and they titling it crazy things, pictures of Debo. <laughs> I guess it makes them feel like, I mean, come on, man, this is an obsession. You know, I mean, there's something, something else going on in your mind that you got 15 pictures, videos of Elder Manatazat up in his face in there for 20, 30 seconds. I don't know. I'm not going to dabble in that, down that rabbit hole, so to speak. I'm not going to go down there. But this is, this is some weird stuff, man. You know, no, you can't have our oil. That's all I have on that, Shalom.